Hi everyone, this is Mr. Zikri. In this episode, we are going to study about Archimedes Principle. From last episode, we know that the Archimedes Principle, the object immersed inside water, will experience upthrust force. And that upthrust force is the result of pressure difference at the top and the bottom of the object. Here we want to explain about Archimedes principle with different ta uh, with different method. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water. For example, here you weigh an object in the air, and the dynamometer read read six newton. And if you Put that rock inside the water, put that object inside the water, and then measure it again, you got 4 newton. But, in the process, you displace some of the water to another container. So, in this case, that means the weight in the air minus buoyant force equal to apparent weight and the weight of water equal to the buoyant force itself so here the buoyant force equal to the weight of water displaced in this case the weight of water displaced is mass of the liquid times g Mass of the liquid can get from the volume of immersed object time density of liquid times G. So we have another type of solving this problem. Buen force equal to volume inside the liquid times density of the liquid times G, gravitational acceleration. If the object sinks, the buoyant force will oppose the weight. So the weight in water will be smaller than the weight in the air. Weight in water equal to real weight or weight outside the water minus buoyant force. If the object floats, this wooden block does not move, that means it is in equilibrium condition. When an object is in equilibrium condition, the total force acting on the object equal to zero. So, the weight of the object should equal to buoyant force. The weight of the object, the weight of the object is the volume of the object times the density of the object times gravity, while the buoyant force, as you know, fit leak G, volume immersed times density of liquid times gravity, can cancel gravity both sides. So we have FUDU equal to FIDLIC. Volume of the object times density of the object equal to volume inside the liquid equal times density of the liquid. Example. An object weight 45 Newton. That means it is the weight of object in air and it weighs 330 newton in water so this is the weight inside the water what is a buoyant force buoyant force can be gotten by subtracting the weight in the air minus the weight inside the water 45 minus 30 we get 15 newton B. Volume of the object. 
to find this we can use FB equal to Fidlik G Fifteen equal to we want to know and the liquid is water times G. So the volume the volume is actually fifteen over ten thousand. We can write as fifteen times 10 to the bottom of minus 4 meter cubic next C mass of the object weight in the air equal to mass of the object times gravity 45 equal to mass of the object times 10 so mass of the object is 4.5 kilogram and the last one the density of the object Density of the object is equal to mass over volume of the object. 4.5 over 15 times 10 to the power minus 4. This is 3. Three thousand kilogram per meter cubic. Now for second question. When an object is floating in water, half of the object is in water, what is the density of the object? So, half of, of the object is in water, so Vi is actually 50% of volume object. So, as you know that, Fu to go to Vi Blick. Fu, 100%. Yeah, let's say. Yeah, let's say just so density of object we don't know. Volume immersed is 0 0.5 VO. Density of liquid is a thousand. So we can cancel both. So density of object is actually 500 kilogram per meter cubic. That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something from this. Please write it down on your notebook. See you next time. Bye-bye.